purpose of this particular movie is to try to figure out um, how do you decide on which word sorts to do with a reader in first grade? Because children's word knowledge begins to grow rapidly. It's not a matter of just going through the box, starting from A and going to Z. It's based on teacher decision making and based on the type of decisions that only can follow from observation. Let's take a look at one student's writings that were done. In particular, this was a writing by one of my students in her class, her first grade class, 15 years ago in 1995. Today is Thursday, November 2nd, 1995. Today the sun was in my eyes. Why? Because the sun does not know that. Love, Kayla. So we see some uh, invented spellings here. Um, you can see that the teacher is working on word boundaries by asking children to put two or maybe three fingers between each word. But you see the invented spellings that the child is writing. The teacher knows that the child does not know every phonetic element, but wants them to write because the act of writing the word down makes them think about these sounds and apply what they know. So here are the invented spellings that are in Kalen's writing for that particular day. And let's keep track of what it is that she's missing here. Um, you can see that she resorts to a letter name strategy. It's the only thing that she knows. So for the word no, normally beginning with a K-N-O-W, um, she falls back to a word that she knows, and of course it's uh, very phonetic. And does over here um, is a trickier word. It's a sight word and uh, relatively unphonetic. It's not following uh, the phonetic principles as she knows it. So she's uh, also come up with an invented spelling for that. Let's go to her next day. Charlie and me met at the highway, and when we got in Mommy's room, Mommy must be a teacher at a school, me and Charlie wrote on the chalkboard, and me and Charlie played school. And we had fun playing school. And Mommy said, You girls use the white chalk. And we said, Okay. Me and Charlie had fun. Love, Kaylin. So the invented spellings that uh, crop up here. Well, for example, there's an interesting one here between uh, school spelled um, correctly one way and incorrectly another. But I'm particularly interested in uh, this use of played. Um, it's particularly uh, resorting to a letter name strategy based on the sounds that she hears. She's treating the A in this invented spelling as a long A. Let's zoom in on that. It's not a long A. In fact, our adult eye tells us that that's a short vowel pattern. Down over here, you see a sight word being inserted here. She knows the word use, but she's overgeneralizing to the word use. So we've got to clear that up. Now the word said over here should be a sight word in our vocabulary, but we're going to work on that in a different way. Let's go on to the third writing. Today, I hope me and Charlie get our name on the good board well, we are working on it, and how we do it is, first, you have to be really quiet. So here's a teacher who's writing names on the board, and I guess it depends on which side of the board you get on, uh, that you get some type of prize, or at least you don't get held in for a recess. So I've marked the invented spellings, and uh, let's zoom in here on these uh, a little bit. And I'm interested in this word, working. Um, she spells it with an E-N-G on the end of that. And the word quiet, is she's spelling it as Q-U-I-T. Again, that kind of offends our adult eyes. She's got some sight words that she's struggling with. The word first and really over here. And of course you see get. Um, that's got to be worked on. So, let's compile these. All right, 
So I've grouped these now into um, the three different groupings according to which uh, day they did it in. So the first one I've got up here in blue, the, th the second in red, and the third in green. So um, you can see that each one of these, there really are different strategies that I want to apply. These over here in the first day's work, I want to uh, create, well, uh, the word sorts that I would choose that are letter name patterns would be these. Um, she's having, was trying to uh, spell get as git, uh, something out of an old uh, Roy Rogers movie, I guess. Um, but you'd want to sort these and give the directions, uh, be able to have her uh, get a lot of success with these. I think she already knows how to spell school, but she's kind of uh, distracted by exactly uh, some other words. So she added a double L at one point. I would want to contrast highly with these short vowel sounds. Just give the directions and do the sorting. Do the chanting. Get her to be able to uh, look at these carefully. Now let's go and take a look at those uh, long U uh, for U's. Not too difficult to clear these up. Um, you want to create a column uh, that you could sort into uh, using you, uh, the you, long you and use, or choosing uh, an alternate word. You can contrast nicely. We already have a double O pattern that we were working on before. And while you're uh, making this type of sound, con have a real high contrast uh, pairing with the OT family. Caught, got, rot, and hot. Lastly, Let's go to our word walls. You saw that there were a lot of word wall patterns that I could fit in there. Let's just boil it down to three. Caitlin was having trouble with WH patterns. And so that's a major pattern for all children to be looking at. So you want to get your groupings up there of what words uh, go in there. Now we could uh, continue to add words like white. And um, I've got a pretty good uh, group up here uh, already. I got the word Y in there. And uh, then I have all of these uh, pronouns in here. I want to get those up there because we use them quite a bit. And the teacher can point to them as uh, she's doing some writing, especially with morning news. And lastly, I think uh, for word wall work, seeing these patterns with almost any verb can take an ING on the ending of it. Uh, being able to add those uh, one by one, you could have a very long list, of course, uh, should give a lot more focus to ING and therefore aid Kaylin and her classmates to be able to move toward standard spelling. So in sum, we looked at uh, Kaylin and how she was writing. We noticed that she's making some invented spellings. When we analyze her invented spellings, we see that we can use several things to help her. Word study books. We can um, get her to make different patterns in the word study books, like helper words. And we can create word walls. We should also be doing sorting, though, and we want to choose uh, the most simple sorts, those down way down in the letter name, uh, letter name alphabetic stage. And we want to con contrast those with other words that really will be a good match. So those sounds, and we have these down here also. These are very low level CVC patterns, consonant vowel, consonant patterns. And then we want to move into um, our word sorting. And then we want to get to our word walls. By the conjunction of word walls, word study, and word sorting, we're sure that Kaylin is going to move right into uh, the next stage without any trouble.